In the southeast of England, cases are up 46% in the last week. Hospital admissions are up by more than a third. In the east of England, cases are up two-thirds in the last week, and hospital admissions are up by nearly half. It is therefore necessary to apply Tier 3 measures across a much wider area of the east and southeast of England, including Bedfordshire, Buckinghamshire, Berkshire, Peterborough, the whole of Hertfordshire, Surrey with the exception of Waverley, Hastings and Rother on the Kent border of East Sussex, and Portsmouth, Gosport and Havant in Hampshire. These changes will take effect from one minute past midnight on Saturday morning. And I know that Tier 3 measures are tough, but the best way for everyone to get out of them is to pull together, not just to follow the rules, but do everything they possibly can to stop the spread of the virus. Where we've seen places get the virus under control and come out of Tier 3, it's where everyone has taken responsibility on themselves to make that happen. We've seen case rates fall across large parts of England, and I know that many places in Tier 3 have seen their rates reduce. In most places, I have to tell you, Mr Speaker, we are not quite there yet, and the pressures on the NHS remain. But we are able to move some places down a tier. We assess these decisions according to the five published indicators, case rates, case rates amongst the over 60s, test positivity, rates of change, and hospital pressure. And today I'm placing in the Library of the House an assessment of each area and publishing the data on which we make these decisions. For the vast majority of places currently in Tier 3, we're not making a change today. However, Mr Speaker, I am pleased to say that some places can go down a tier. In Bristol and North Somerset, rates have come down from 432 per 100,000 to 121 and falling. And I can therefore announce that Bristol and North Somerset will come out of Tier 3 into Tier 2 on Saturday. Rates in Herefordshire have also come down to 45 in 100,000 and are falling. And we can therefore bring Herefordshire out of Tier 2 and into Tier 1. I want to pay tribute to everyone who's been doing the right thing and getting rates down, whether or not your area has come down a tier today. It's so vital that everyone sticks at it and does the right thing, especially over this Christmas period.